What's up, Internet? My name is Wakuda, and I want to show you an invention that's helped take my mural painting game to the next level. I call it the Wakuda Mural Compass. This helps me create extremely large circles over 10 feet in diameter, perfectly, quickly, and on a vertical, horizontal surface using whatever medium I choose. It's just a measuring tape attached to a central rotating point. This compass is so versatile because I can use the Velcro holding apparatus for any sort of writing utensil, and I can use tape to create a temporary bond on any surface I want. I've always wanted a tool like this, and I couldn't find one anywhere. So I decided to hack my own out of common materials and resources that cost about $10 and will stand up to a lifetime of use. Now for this project, you're gonna need a variety of household tools, including a drill with a fine drill bit, which should accommodate the same screw size as the measuring tape that you'll have to purchase. Uh, you'll also need a needle nose pliers, some wire, some Velcro double-sided one wrap, a plastic credit card type thing, and a small screwdriver. It should take about 30 minutes or so. The first thing we'll do is drill a hole directly in the center of our plastic card, which will be the holding center point for the compass. Now a word about the tape measure. Uh, the most important thing is that it's lightweight enough to be able to affix to a wall temporarily, using tape of course, and also it can be taken apart using screws in its construction. Uh, not all tape measures can do that of course, so make sure whatever you buy uh, does have that possibility. Now we'll take out all of the screws from the back of the tape measure. You'll actually notice that because we'll be drilling through the exact center, the center uh, screw hole, we won't be putting anything back in there, um, but the other ones we will replace. So take those out, very carefully open up the shell, and hold in the compressed coil of tape in there, because you do not want to let that out. We're actually going to get some painter's tape here and just hold that down in here while we work. And now we're going to take the main body of the tape measure and drill through the center screw hole. So we should be able to reattach everything now and actually see a clear hole through the very center. Okay, we can see daylight through there, that's fantastic, and everything works. The uh, wire goes through there very nicely. So let's put some swag on there while we got the chance, because we won't have the chance later. Cut down your sticker, make sure it fits on there real good, and let's get back to work here. So, we're gonna fit the wire through, see how that feels, and now, we're going to make the fixed point for it to rotate around. Get yourself a length of wire like I've got there and make yourself a little L shape. Now insert that through the center hole of the card and fold the remainder over so it braces itself and creates this nice fixed point for you. Next step is to throw the uh, tape measure on top of that and see how that feels. Fold the remaining wire over, cut it, trim it, and fold over that little nub so it looks professional as hell. And there we go, we got ourselves a rotating tape measure on a fixed point. But we're not there yet, we have one more critical step, maybe the most important to do here. Now this compass isn't going to be very useful unless we can attach a drawing tool to the end of it. 
and you'll notice that there is this extra little metal nub that has this fold over bit with a little hole through there. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. So take the wire now and cut off about a three, three and a half inch strip, which you'll fold in half real tight because we actually want to insert that when it's folded through the hole at the end of the tape measure tape there. Once you insert the folded part of the wire into the tip of the tape measure hole like that, bend it over much like a hook and you'll have these two prongs sticking out which will then fold over and it will stay. Use the needle nose pliers to clamp down any part of the wire that wiggles so you should end up with this nice tight bit here that has two parts of the wire uh, exposed to either side which we'll then use to attach the velcro. The last part is really simple. Just take those wire ends and fold them over in the correct length for your Velcro, uh, cut enough of that up, and then you'll be able to put whatever you want on your compass, whether it's charcoal or chalk or marker, anything will fit. The beautiful thing about this compass is, unlike other techniques like a stick and string method, this has a locking tape measure element, which means I can create concentric circles perfectly whenever I want, up to a radius of six feet. So hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you find this tool as useful as I have, and I hope it can inspire artists to create more art and murals to share with the world. Please subscribe, please comment and share my videos because I'm hard at work on the next one. And I've got a couple more inventions that uh, artists haven't seen, but I feel could benefit everyone. So watch this space and I'll talk to you soon. Wakuda from Seattle, out.